Hello, today's video is going to be about installing a flow sensor. So it's all Hunter products, but other companies, manufacturers carry the same stuff. So here we go. Alright, so here's our flow meter. Uh, I'm going to open this up. So we got um, a couple parts here, a little bushing, and then we're going to have to convert it to PVC. And whenever you go from metal to PVC, you always want to make sure it goes to a uh, from a female metal to a PVC male part. So never do this, because over time the um, expansion and contraction of the different materials and the heat and the cold will crack this. So what we're going to do is put on a coupler, and then we're going to then we got a, an adapter, male adapter, and a, we have one inch pipe, but this is a three quarter inch. Three quarter inch meter, and uh, it does have a oh, it's got a little gasket here. So put that in there like that. Whoops! Don't put it in there like that. Put it in there like that, and then. Uh, Thread it on, not too tight, but uh, I'll do this in a minute, but just so you get the idea of what's happening here. So it'll look like, it'll look like that when we're, well, and then the other side, so. Uh, yeah, you need to have at least one foot on this side, and one foot of on this side of straight pipe. And don't do this too tight. Just since it's got a gasket on there, and we'll do this side. Make sure those are cleaned off. Just go uh, clockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same with this one. Thread it on clockwise. One, three, four, six, seven. Then I like to just, uh, that's not, well, you kind of see that's kind of cross-threaded, so I need to put that on a little bit better. Then I like to start with this one, and then it'll just tighten all this up. But I'm going to well, tighten it up a little bit more. I'm not sure if that works. Alright. Got that side done. Now we're going to do the other side. Then 
you notice there's a, a arrow on it, so you may need to make sure that that is the direction of flow that way. And that's what it looks like on the inside. Pretty cute. Okay, so we've already built our backflow. Um, we're going to need to clean that out and flush it. And uh, we already built the manifold, so we're just going to put it in between this area and this area. Sorry about the shadow. Uh, but first, we're going to flush this out. So. I'm just gonna turn this on real slow. Get all that dirt out of there. But I just Turn this on real slowly, real slowly, and see if we get any leaks. Step is to uh, <coughs> wire this in. Um, it has a long enough wire, and it's close enough to the man valve manifold that we're just going to use these wires. So I'm going to put a valve box on it. I'll kind of show you what it looks like. Well, we'll get it all flushed up, but it'll go like that, and then I'll just run the wires under the pipe so it doesn't get damaged and then we'll uh, just tie it in and then run and then it goes through the controller chink chink <laughs> make sure we use grease caps got grease in them Get the water out so that this water, wire doesn't corrode. Let me do this real quick. So we're just going to wire this uh, flow sensor in. Um, yeah, make sure you don't put the common wire into this terminal. That's for the valves. Uh, but it goes up here. Wire that in. And then whatever wire you, which is the, we're doing the red one on the flow sensor. That's connected. And just screw them down and then good to go. Um, then you just have to program it through the HydroWise app or uh, through their account on your desktop to program the sensor. Tell them that you got it on this system.